portfolio as a child, which has left me with painful right foot, weak left leg, and weak lower back. I now suffer from postpartum syndrome, which is associated with headaches, fatigue, and general body exhaustion. I also have scoliosis in my back, but I'm determined not to let these giants in my body slow me down one bit. I came to Australia in July 2005 as a refugee after spending 19 years in three different refugee camps in Uganda, where I was exposed to starvation, violence, and hygienic living environment, and violation of human rights. Having been born into a culture where disability is considered as a curse, evil daughter to steal birth. My second daughter was born premature in June 2015, and she died a few minutes after she was born. I want to clarify that the premature birth of my daughter had nothing to do with the fact that I have a disability, but God had his own reasons to take her away from me that early in her life. When I was pregnant with my first child, I had people lined up waiting to take my baby away from me because they thought that I would not be able to look after her because of my disability. But I proved to them that I am capable of looking after my children regardless of my disability. I am happy to say that even with my disability, I am still able to, look, to raise up my two beautiful girls alone without any help from anybody. I remember lying down on the hospital bed two weeks after my first child was born, thinking if I would ever be allowed to take her home with me. As the doctors at the hospital were not in any hurry to discharge me, I was finally discharged, but the, the hospital of personal therapist followed me home 15 minutes after I had arrived home to inspect my house and to determine if my house was suitable for my daughter. The occupational therapist was blown away after he discovered that I had my house set up ready for my baby. I had a net, a baby coat, and other baby stuff all set up in my house ready for my baby, even before I went to the hospital to have her. I gathered that the occupational therapist was going to make arrangements to take my baby away from me there and then just because I have a disability. But because I was able to prove to him that disability is not inability, I got to keep my baby. If you put your mind into something, your determination will help you to achieve your goals in life regardless of your disability, mental illness, medical condition, or any other limitations. If people around you are negative towards you, use that negativity to make something positive out of it in your life. I understand that we have no control over what people think about us, or what they may say about us, or how less they may think of people with disabilities, but if you can, please stay away from negative people and surround yourself with positive thinking people like me. I will conclude tonight by saying that whether you are on a wheelchair or you are on your feet, whether you have a mental illness or a medical condition, you can make a choice to make a difference in your community, regardless of your physical limitations. Don't let your disability, mental illness, or medical condition define you, but let your ability define who you are. And always remember that disability is not inability.